Well, this is the red carpet opening of, of the movie Art Bastard, and uh, I, I guess it's kind of a dream come true in a funny way. It's like, uh, but on the other hand, if it had happened um, 50 years ago, <laughs> but uh, just that it has happened is a, um, it's a great feeling. Uh, well, tonight we're celebrating uh, Robert Sanadella, uh, new film, Art Bastard. It's a, uh, a piece of history of an artist who's been documenting uh, New York City most of his life. I met Bob in 1990. A uh, friend of mine introduced me to him and he said, I think you'll love this guy. And I, I went into the bar and he had a print of 2001 on the wall. Um, I bought it for $1,500. Uh, Bob and I sat down at the bar for about two and a half hours after the party was over and I wound up buying my first painting. So he was a very good salesman and having this film be on Bob is what really needed to be done on him. So he, he's documented for history now. Reading transcripts and finally I went to Chris and I said, Chris, I've got to meet Bob because I've got to know who he is. So he said, sure, come on up to the studio. I went up, we spent two hours together and I knew the film was going to be wonderful. <laughs> Bob is very in your face with the art world and with his opinions on stuff. And we made a decision that we would approach the sound and the art the same way. So it wasn't just going to be artwork sitting on a wall. You were actually going to go into the art and have it really in your face. Behind us here is Le Cirque. Um, allegorically, Bob somehow was able to put all these people into the painting and make it all work somehow. So his art, you could look at a painting from the 1960s and think he painted it yesterday. My father and Bob really got along well. He was a great guy and you know Bob proposed the idea. My father just loved it. He took them all from our own pictures. So from pictures that dad had from the restaurant yeah. and in some way made them fit. Then you got to Sidney Poitier, and then in front of him is the late chef Jean Verne with the white mustache, and below him is Fernand Botero, and Barbara Walters. That's El McPherson. Is Diana that Ron Water? Oh, no, that's Bill Cunningham. No, that's Bill Cunningham, yeah. Then you got Nancy Reagan up at the top I next, saw to that. next to Sly Stallone. Oh my God. Uh, my father at the door, watching okay, the door at the reservation uh, club. And, this is uh, the ultimate group portrait. And everything that I know from Bob's work, it's, it's all amusing and fun, colorful, lively, uh, active. So I did it on a dare, and if they didn't like it, I'd keep it. But um, they, when he came up to my studio to see it in progress, he ended up buying it. And um, plus it's gotten me about a couple hundred meals <laughs> on the house. And uh, they're very generous that way. They get some of it back. A lot of people come to see themselves. There's 191 people in the painting. It's a great feeling. Um, I guess, um, you know, artists, all artists struggle. When you paint, you really should be painting what you want to paint and not thinking about whether it's going to sell or not. The downside is that uh, <laughs> that doesn't pay all your bills, you know. So it's, it's, always, it's always a rough hoe for an artist, but I think integrity to your work is what uh, counts the most.